I can get you in there. Give me a second. <laughs> we rolling already? No, it doesn't catch on till 15, so oh, okay. we're good. So this, um, now it's rolling. This light day. Right. I know, bro. He, he needs a lamp right there. It is what it is. Yeah. There's a lamp. Winding, um, yeah, I know, but there's no other light, so he needs a lamp right there. I'm not coming with that one. You can go turn it off. It's All not right. gonna. Yeah, All right, my brother. All right, it's rolling. That's the only thing. It's rolling, my brother. All right, Shalom. 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 First and foremost, we give all praise and glory to Yahweh. Yahweh. Hashem. Yahushat. Hashem. Double honor to the elders of GMS. Well, peace, light, taste, and light. I keep in the four corners, pushing the truth to sincerity. Peace be in the youth. Shalom. Uh, we're coming to basically doing an open forum. So basically, we are going to see where the spirit takes us. We've got a few uh, precepts that we're going to start off with. That's why you want to set the tone. The first one is. Uh, Lamentation chapter 4 and verse 21, which is concerning Esau, Edom, who is righteously, the scripture talks about Job 9, 24, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked, who is Esau, Edom, who is basically the one who is going to be ruling at the very at the, uh, very end of this, and then, you know, it goes back to Genesis, uh, Jacob's hand uh, uh, will hold Esau's uh, heel, but if you paraphrase it in uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 6, uh, uh, second in chapter six, verse nine. Uh, this is Lamentations four and verse twenty one. It says, "Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken, and shall make thyself naked. Now, rejoice, maybe live it up. You know, hey, you you got you got a, you got a kingdom. You can actually say that you got." Didn't you ask for a blessing? Bless me also, my father. Hey, you got a chance to live by the sword. You got a chance to do much killing and murder you wanted to do, just like how you was with Cain. You know, rejoice. You got exactly what you wanted. You got the dwelling. But also, guess what? Uh, keep that uh, same energy when this cup passes over to you. So when that cup passes over to you, that's slavery. And when you have to serve slavery a thousand years, Keep that same energy. That cup is going to be passed on to you. So just rejoice because you're not going to be having no fun in the kingdom. Appreciate so this is your time to rejoice. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I know. Get yours. Uh, this is uh, 2 Andrew 6 and 7. Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting center of the times? Or when, when, when shall the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow? And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau was born of him, Jacob hand held first the heel of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. And the hand at the hand of the man that is between oh no, that's it. That's the point. Hey, uh, uh, hey, Esau is the end of the world. Hey, we 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 uh, uh, the children of uh, Israel, we can't get the kingdom without Esau being in rulership right now. Because mm -hmm. hey, 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 it's prophesied that he's going to be ruling when Yahweh returns. And, kind, and when, when Esau was born, Jacob held the heel of him, which symbolized uh, the Israelites, meaning Yahweh pulling down Esau in these last days. So in the last days, Yahweh is coming back to pull Esau down out of power. Yeah, brother, I, I got something right quick since the brother brought that about drinking a cup that represents slavery. Uh, this is Jeremiah, the 49th chapter, in the 12th verse. It says, For thus saith Yahweh, the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment the day is talking about the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken, right? Because we're the Lord's chosen people, okay? You know, but because of our, of our disobedience to the Lord's statutes and commandments and breaking the holy covenant that Yahweh made with us, okay, by Hashem Yahweh Shai made with the nation of Israel, the Jews, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans, we went into slavery. You know, but we wasn't created to be slaves, man. Okay, all right, we're the Lord's chosen people. We were set up to put the other heathen nations in slavery because that's how it's going to be forevermore after the so called white man goes down. For thus saith Yahweh, the Lord, behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of that cup, drink of the cup, which 
into slavery, that was surely drunk. It was not we sold on auction and blocks. I'm talking about you so-called blacks, West Indians, and Haitians. It was not you um, uh, Latinos brought, and Native Americans brought back to, uh, to uh, Europe, Spain, Barcelona, Spain, and conquered slave ships just like so-called black men. Okay? All right? You know, so we drunk to that cup, man, and we're still slaves in this goddamn place in America and all over the earth. Wherever you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans live at, you're slaves under Esau's system, under his rulership. Okay? It says, have, have a surely drunken. And art thou he? That he is talking about Esau, the so-called white man. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Well, it has a question mark at the end of the word un, unpunished. Okay? Because the so-called white man really believes he can get out of that 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 punishment <coughs> that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai have set up for him to go into slavery for a thousand years and be mass exterminated off of the face of the earth. Okay? It says, and and art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? That's a question mark for you so-called white people. Well, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to answer it through his prophets. Okay? The prophets of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, which are the prophets of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right? The Israelites. Thou shalt not go unpunished. So you ain't going to go unpunished. Mm -hmm. Revelation 13, 9 and 10 tells you that. He who leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Okay? It says, Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. What are you going to drink of? Slavery. Okay? Just like uh, when you read, read about Nazareth. Okay? He said, I mean, could you just dip your finger in some water and put it on my tongue? That's what the rich man said to uh, Nazareth that was in Abraham's bosom, meaning Israelites being in the kingdom, man, ruling over the so-called white man having them in slavery. Esau, the so-called white man, that's your biblical name, by the way. It means wasted away. That's Joshua in Hebrew. Because you have no pigmentation. You have no melanin. Okay? Okay? That's where your name is. Esau. That's Joshua. Okay? Wasted away is he. Okay? He's going to be catching so much hell. He's going to be catching so much hell. He's going to be catching so much holy hell in the kingdom. Man, he's going to be catching so much hell. He's going to want some relief. And he ain't going to find no relief. Okay? All right? But Nazareth, in the bosom of Abraham, is talking about when Israelites are in the kingdom ruling. Mm. Psalms 149. You know? All right, they shall sing aloud upon their beds. What does that mean when they're ruling in the kingdom of heaven? Okay, it says, "But thou shalt surely drink of it." You're gonna get the dregs of it. You're gonna get a double. You're gonna get an extra. Priest, yeah. uh, uh, Psalms one forty nine for you. What's up? You had yours still the bar? Okay. This is for the elder. Psalms one forty nine. Praise ye Yahweh. Sing unto Yahweh a new song, and his praise. In the congregation of the saints, let Israel rejoice in him that made him. God. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name and, and dance. Let them sing praise unto him with the timbre of heart. Mm -hmm. For Yahweh taketh pleasure in his people. But for Yahweh taketh pleasure in his people. Okay? His people. A possessive pronoun. Okay? Go ahead. He will beautify the meek with salvation. They're going to beautify the meek, which is uh, you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans with salvation. <coughs> so I'll be elected you. Salvation from what? From fucking so-called white man, man. <laughs> from Esau, from the even nations. Mm -hmm. Okay? You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Yeah, let them sing aloud upon their beds. That's mean when the Israelites are in the kingdom of heaven, man. All right? In total... Righteousness and peace and happiness and having the other nations and one of the main nations of Esau serving them hand and foot. Okay, go ahead. Let the high praises of Yahweh be in their mouths. Oh, wait a minute. Are we supposed, are we supposed to praise the name of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai? Go ahead. And the two edged sword in their hand. Go ahead. To execute vision upon the heathen. To execute vengeance upon the heathen. So we're going to have a literal two edged sword. In our hands to execute vengeance upon the heathen, which is what's the heathen? The so called white man, East Indians, Arabs, Chinese man, Japanese man, Polynesian man. Go ahead. 
and punishments upon the people. Punishments upon the people. Yeah, so it says, it says, uh, and art thou he that shall altogether go and punish? And punishments upon the people, man. A, 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 they, they shall rule with a rod of iron. Okay? Having that scepter in their hand, man. You know? You know what I'm saying? You know? And they're going to use that scepter. Okay? That scepter is just not for show. They're going to literally use that scepter, man. A rod of iron. Okay? And you know what they're going to do with that. Okay? That's right. Uh, I got a moral here, but I got a precept to go with that. Go on. Uh, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. To execute upon them the judgment written, this honor have all his saints. Praise ye Yahweh. Here to execute upon them the judgment written. Where is it written at? In the Bible. So the so-called white man gave us the same Bible that his gave so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans. The same Bible that, that pronounces judgment and punishments on him. Okay? All right? But it was all prophesied that what? In the last days that the Most High would set up who? The prophet Elijah. All right? To return the father, the hearts of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children unto the father. Which we believe that that's Abba Bibbins. Abba Bibbins, Abba Bibbins, you know, however you want to say it. You know what I'm saying? All right? And that the, the prophet Elijah was going to come back in, in, in a latter time <laughs> and pronounce the judgment on the so-called white man, man. And upon Babylon, which is America, man. Okay? Okay. This is that uh, precept to accompany the, um, the part in Psalms 149 that says that two has four in their hand. Okay. And this is Revelation 2 and 26 within the NLT. It says, to all who are victorious, who obey me to the very end, I will give authority over all the nations. Mm. They will rule the nations with a with an iron rod <laughs> and smash them like clay pots. <laughs> NLT gets busy, baby. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, I mean, that's heavy, brother. <laughs> They're going to take that up there. Bah! That's going to happen to you so-called white people and, and all you heathen nations, but mainly Esau. Okay? Because in the book of Obadiah, it tells you, man, that after a certain amount of time, you're going to be exterminated, man. Okay? Well, he's going to just be mass exterminated by the house of Judah and the house of Joseph. Okay? Uh, Judah represents you so-called Negroes, uh, West Indian Haitians. Joseph represents you so-called Latino and Native American tribes. Smash him like a pot of clay Woo man. with an iron pipe. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, may I get one more? No, not that. All right, this is the no. book of Isaiah uh, 49 and 23. And this is uh, because it says to bind their kings. Mm -hmm. um, and, and kings shall be thy nursing fathers. Mm -hmm. So like it. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers and their queens thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth and lick up the dust of thy feet. And thou shalt know that I am Yahweh, for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. So their kings are going to be our slaves within the kingdom of heaven. The top, you know, uh, uh, kings and queens of the elites, you know, or the elites are going to be our slaves in the kingdom of heaven, you know, and... They're going to be preserved, you know, after Yahweh shot come and the thermonuclear destruction happened, America is wiped off of the earth. You know, those elites that are preserved and, and allowed to su survive through, you know, the thermonuclear destruction and the judgments that come upon the earth are going to be preserved for, you know, slavery, you know, to be the slaves of the nation of Israel, first beginning with Yahweh shot. All right, they're going to be the slaves until the, the beginning of Yahweh Shai and the rest of the nation of Israel. That's what it means when it says to bind their kings all right, uh, uh, with, with fetters and chains of iron. You know, and that reminds me of uh, 2nd Ezra, the 13th chapter, where it says some came bound 
right. you know, right. you know, yep. that's that's speaking about them yep. because once you know the elect and the nation of Israel are taken away, you know, the hundred and forty-four thousand and Yahweh Shai is going to come back, you know, down. That's the reason why the scripture speaks about the New Jerusalem, come, you know, coming down from heaven. Right. And what are they going to do? They're going to go through and they're going to get those uh, particular kings and you know queens of, of the nation of e, uh, Esau Edom that are hiding in, the, in these bunkers, that are hiding within the silos, and they're going to bring them bound. They're going to bring them out bound and in shackles and chains, like the movie uh, uh, Planet of the Apes. Yep, yep. Yes, sir, bro. This, uh, this is a precept to what exactly is going to happen according to prophecy in these last days. It says, this is the book of Daniel, chapter 7, and verse 27. And the kingdom and dominion and greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints. And the saints, pursuant to Psalms 149, 148, the saints are the Israelites. You cannot be a saint unless you're an Israelite. So it's about to be turned over or transferred over to the Israelites. It says, of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Our kingdom, unlike the other kingdoms that there's ever been on the earth, those had a set period of time to rule and to be in power and right. to be taken down. But the Israelites, we're about to receive an everlasting kingdom. Uh, unending kingdom. Our kingdom is going to go forever. It says, and all the minions shall serve and obey him, meaning all the other nations. They were all set up to serve us anyway. So in the kingdom, all the other nations are going to serve us, the Israelites. That's it. Okay. Okay. And, and all of these other nations had us in slavery. Okay. You know, at some point in time, you know, they rejoice at the things that happened unto the children of Israel. I believe it mentions that in the book of uh, Baruch. You know, the fourth chapter. You know, all of these nations, and as well as the book of Lamentations. Uh, yeah, Lamentations. You know, it mentions that in the book of uh, uh, Baruch and in the book of uh, Lamentation. Um, Let me read this right quick. Kind of like that, uh, about the shop. This is Daniel, the seventh chapter, and the 18th verse. But the saints, which are the Israelites, mm -hmm. okay, which are the so called Negroes, Latino, and other things. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom mm -hmm. and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever, meaning age after age after age after age. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is going to be an everlasting kingdom. This is not going to be, you know, so so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the Israelites coming to the kingdom for a thousand years and they go off. So called white man comes back and says, Nah, it's going to be everlasting kingdom after this. Through the fact of what? Of what the scriptures say. Yahweh Shai. Okay? Yahweh, he sent his son, Yahweh Shai, to bring remissions of sins for the nation of Israel. Okay? And that's it. That's it. it, 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 it Israel, Israel ain't going off no more. That's right. That's it. That's why it says even forever. It says forever, even forever and ever, age after age after age. You see what I'm saying? You Preset. Know? Go ahead, bring it up. Uh, they might get Isaiah 41. Yeah, no. I got it right now. Oh shit! Okay. Well, you what verses you getting? 15. I was gonna start at. Uh, I was gonna start 11. You want 11? I was gonna start at this, but at about nine. Okay. Where was that? What you want me to go? Um, I'll read it. You can break you it down. Read it? I'll read it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Start at nine. Uh, well, eight is good. Eight count. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Isaiah. Uh, you can break it down, bro. Isaiah forty-one and eight. But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. Mm -hmm. Thou, whom I have taken mm -hmm. from the ends of the earth, and called thee from the chief men thereof, and said unto thee, Thou art my servant. I have chosen thee, and not cast thee away. And he didn't choose the rest of the world. Who would choose? So all these, all these, uh, these bastards that claiming our, 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 who, are, who, who we are, they gonna find out man. You know, from this point on, we we know. That's why we having a, a block in the media, right? right. We on every corner. <laughs> It'll be an incident yeah, yeah. right over here. But they're paying that. They never yeah, pay yeah, that yeah, camera. Yeah, yeah. It is a license, right? To the real, to the real men of the Lord. Even, 
even the ones that's out on the highways and hedges that, you know, ain't got a hundred They got that sign out there. Most of them, they got the correct sign. All right. So, you know, it's still saying that we're Israelites. But forget the sign. Because they don't, a lot of them don't prescribe to it. But they saying that we are the Israelites. Okay. So keep going, bro. Uh, verse 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Yeah. Be not dismayed. The Lord he never, he never left us, right? Okay, so we we're we're in a time where, hey, the scriptures tell you in Psalm thirty-four and seven, he kept around in those that fear him, you know, and, and he keep he, he gonna keep the covering over us. There's no right. way we're not gonna have to fail. And even if anything happened to us, you got that ride, that chariot. You you own that. You keep. That's why the scripture tells you those that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. We're going to have to endure uh, all this hell, these, these hills, these valleys, the turmoil in this flesh, and then still have to stick to the script, all right, with this thing. Go ahead. Uh, no, I said, it was 10, start at 10 again. Yeah, verse 10, for thou fear now, damn, fear thou not, for I am with thee, yeah. be not dismayed. For I am thy power, I will strengthen thee, yeah, I will help thee, yep. yeah, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. So he's going to be with us, right? He's going to strengthen us. Right he's going to get down, he's going to show you what you say, bro. His right hand, your house shot. Yeah, it is, yeah but he's, you, he gonna, we going to strengthen us, right? We're going to be strong, in, you know, with, with, the, with the patience and waiting on with him and believing in him and his son. And believing on his son, you know, and that's our strength. Like your brother brought up, you know, go ahead. Verse 11. Uh, th this, this, this is my favorite verse out of the chapter. Uh, Isaiah 41 11. Yep. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. Yeah, these nations going to be confounded. What does the scripture say about and, uh, wisdom of Sodom and Fire? Right? When, uh, hey, is, is this them, basically? Are these, these, the, these the ones that uh, are numbered amongst the saints? Yeah, right? Are, are they numbered? Are they, them, them niggas? Yeah, yep, yep. Man, we, we, you got it. You got, got a def definition yeah, of incense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was about to, yeah, yeah okay, Kyle, you got it. The word incense uh, simply means to be very anger or mm -hmm. angry or enraged. <laughs> very, very angry and enraged. Okay, very, uh, very, yeah. uh, very anger and, and enraged. Like I say it, say it like that when you read it. Kyle, uh, that's, that's how the heathen are yeah. towards us. It says, yeah. behold. Uh, would you like to say, I was going to add this as well. When you think of actual incense that burn, they burn red or hot. Right. You know, when you when you burn them, so these nations are hot against us. You right. know, they have a, a great fury or great wrath against us. Yeah. You know, but that's all out of jealousy. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's all out of jealousy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Envy. Yep. Yep. Uh, verse eleven. No, no, no. Behold, all they. That were it says uncensed against thee. You could uh, you could say all they that were furious against thee, all they that were uh, angry. It says uh, uh, all they that were uh, kindled against thee. These are some of the definitions there. Right, because that's when they came and they had you know they came at one accord. You know Psalms eight three and one. Mm -hmm. Right, you know they had one mind. Right, because what they wanted to hide who the real Israelites are. They know the Heavenly Father is with us. When we with our power, we can't be stopped. So they know while these uh, that the time has to come that we have to be get right back with our power, mm -hmm. which is which is coming up with his elect. That's why the elect have obtained and the rest are blinded. So we can see, they can see that the word is coming about. They can see that the bones of Ezekiel is getting back together. They can see that it's, it's getting back together. It's getting the, the joints and the, the marrow and everything in the body and the story. And you see them standing strong. They see that army about to uh, come out and, and, and stand, stand forth because we proclaim an acceptable day of, of the Lord. The reason the day of the Lord that's about to come. All right? We, we know. See, they see it. You know? They, they're not amazed. They, they're amazed that we know. Mm -hmm. We know. It's too late now. They know we know. Brothers been on the highways and hedges for years now. They have been out there for Decades. a long time uh, pushing this word. They us, you know, just right, seeing right, it. Right. 30, 30 years, 40, damn near 40, 40 years, years. 40, 40 years. 40 years pushing it and stayed out there strong. All right, go ahead. Uh, 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 before you bring that out, since, since you said dead, incense, right? You say you look up the word incense. 
Mm -hmm. uh, this is Psalms, the second chapter, and the first verse. Why do the heathen rage mm -hmm. and the people imagine a vain thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so <laughs> it's fucking heathen, man. <laughs> vain thing. They vain want the seat. Hey, that's empty. It's like an empty thought. They're like, who you gonna think you're gonna come and get the hell yeah, of the Why y'all talking this crazy stuff? So, you, know, you think you're gonna come and get the heavenly father uh, and, 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 ha and, and destroy him? Or, or, or just destroy what he gonna do? Because what you think? You got an ICBM, and you don't let me be stay in, in, in my power. I got that button, and if I gotta die, y'all coming with me with them, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the missile. Yep, yep, basically that's what he saw us yeah. doing. Yep. If I gotta die, you coming with me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and like you won't jump to love Yeah, if oh, I can't have you, no one. Oh, bitch, man, they told you going. You can, he got the fatness of the earth, but he, the heavenly father said you ain't gonna have it forever. Yep. You know, he cried. He gave you. He got a blessing, but your blessing ended. All right, and it's gonna end, and the, and the Israelites is gonna be forever, and you know that, and that's the jealousy of these people in these nations, and what the nations gonna have is they're gonna have work. You, you're gonna have a job. It's gonna be you know get your L four arm strong. You know you're gonna be a good job. Yeah, good job. You know I need my house gold. You know I need it done today, but I need it. I need it about a mile long. You know. And I need two people to do it. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's going to be, you're going to have to be strong. You know, new two of the meter mics. You know? uh -huh. If they don't do it, all y'all get fucked up. You know, we're going to have that type of power. Uh -huh. You know, anyway, keep going on. Okay, uh, verse 11 again says, uh, Isaiah 41 and 11, Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. And then I was going to jump to 15, okay, the main point. 15? Yeah. Uh, okay, go ahead. 15, uh, Isaiah 41 and no, 15. Uh, give me uh, 14. 14, yeah. yeah. Isaiah 41 and 14. Mm -hmm. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. Yep. I will help thee, saith thee, how about Shimmy, how shy, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Don't have to worry, don't. Hey, wait upon the Lord, man. All right? Yeah. These things we, we go through every day, it's going to have to happen. But I still going to help you because I told you what's like, He already told us what's going to happen to us. And what's going to Jacob said what's going to befall us in the last days. Uh -huh. yeah. You know? So, hey, we, that's why I said the blessing of those that read it. And, and, and the promises that he, he said, you know, you, you, a, a, a real Israelite, a man of the Lord is going to believe those things and wait upon him on that day. Now, read, get that. Yeah, get, 15. Get, get, I just want to add something real fast. A worm is defenseless. Does it have a defense, say that a defense yeah. mechanism? Yeah, right. You know, it's not like a, like a, a lion. You know, that has sharp teeth, you know, yeah, and, yeah. And, and sharp nails. It's not like an eagle that has a sharp beak and, and the talons. You know, it's something that it can defend, even even like a like a uh, deer. You know, a male deer or, you know, some kind of animal like an elk or something. You know, or a ram, you know, that can use its horns, you know, to push. You know, or a bull, you know, where it can def defend itself. It doesn't have a defense mechanism. You know, our only defense comes from the Heavenly Father. Protection. You know, that's the reason why it says in Exodus 14 and 14, you know, um, wait, wait on me, you know, I, until, uh, I'm sorry, I will I will fight for thee. It's, it's stand still, I will fight for thee. You know, the book of um, Exodus 22, in, well, 23 and 22, you know, I will be an adversary to your adversaries. You know, uh, uh, other scriptures that say, wait ye on the Lord. You know, that's how we're going to be protected. That's how we're going to be delivered. You know, we don't have any true power. Matter of fact, in Deuteronomy 32 and 20, it says that I will, I will see what, what happens when that power is gone from them. Because the Heavenly Father is our power. He is our protection. You know, uh, um, it was through him that we prospered. It was through him that we enjoyed days of peace when our enemies didn't rise up against us. Although he used certain men to... You know, judge our enemies when you go through the books of Judges. You know, um, eventually coming down to King David, you know, fighting against the, the, uh, the enemies. And so much to the point, there was this, a state of peace for 40 years. But who went out before, you know, those judges? Or who went out before the armies of King David, the armies of Israel? It was the Heavenly Father. You know, and many righteous, you know, kings were consult with the Heavenly Father before they went out and made war. Yeah. Because if yeah. he wasn't with them, you know, then there was there was nothing that they can do. They'll be driven or, or put to flight by their enemies. 
you know, when the Heavenly Father left us because we sinned against him, you know, then these other nations came in and they was able to take us over. You know, so we're like a worm that doesn't have any ability to defend ourselves. Therefore, we have to trust and wait in our power. Uh, verse 15 uh, says, Behold, I will make thee a new sharp thresh threshing instrument having teeth. Th thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small and shalt make the hills as chaff. Right. And finish it off at 16. 16. Thou shalt fan them. Yeah. And we're going to eventually get spiritual power. You know, eventually we will Research. get spiritual power. You know, but right now we don't have any, any spiritual power. Uh, 16 thou shalt fan them and the wind shall carry them away and the whirlwind shall scatter them and thou shalt rejo rejoice in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai and shalt glory in the Holy One of Israel. They're not yeah. going to be able to stand, all right? You know, because it's going to be spiritual power and they're not going to be able to stand. Yeah. Destroy and, and disrupt the, the, um, the, the, power, so, the power of Esau. Hey, well, all the nations gonna get together in that time too, man. All right, they're gonna fight, try to fight the Lord and the angels, man. It's gonna go through my like, hey, he said he's gonna get rid of us, make a speedy rip to this place. Hey, when they get down, it's gonna, when the real get down, get down, there's gonna be a uh, that war over there when it's gonna get heavy. Oh, you're gonna see the it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be all out war. That's why it's gonna be it's not gonna be and no one can stand, they're not gonna be able to stand, they're gonna have. They're going to be weakened, right? It's going to be all type of stuff. Brothers have dreams about certain things. I know a brother with the, the, the elder, um, with the Ayatun. He said he had, they say he saw the brother going to a wormhole. The jet went in. He turned around and like froze the, the hole, I believe. The, the hole was going to come out of summer or destroy the ship. You know, these these ships don't think they're going to be doing things, but the Heavenly Father got us in those that day is going to be a, a whole spiritual, it's going to be a, a, never a day like that, yeah. you know? It's not going to be nothing like that. Uh, the world is never going to see that, man, All right? So, and we're going to be blessed to be the, to have that power, and the time to come is going to be shown the heavenly we're going to get through. Right. So, you right. know, right. and the world went as a chariot, man. All right, going through, you know? What's Isaiah 66 to 15, all right? Okay, hey. Get down like that, man. Go ahead, bro. Huh? I'm done. I was done on this one. Whoever, uh, I know you a call for something. Uh, yeah, uh, this is Jeremiah 25, S26. All the kings of the north, far and near, one with another. All the kingdoms of the world, which are upon the face of the earth, and all the kings of Shadrach shall drink after them. Therefore, thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh of hosts. The God, the power of Israel, drink ye, be drunken and spew, fall and rise no more, because of the sword which I shall send among you. It shall be if they refuse to take of the cup at my hand to drink, then thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, ye shall surely drink. Hey, all you nations go to drink of this captivity. I gave you a thousand years of captivity. Every last one of you nations going to drink of this. But Esau going to receive double. But hey, y'all going to all drink of this. Y'all, hey, there's no next nation that's going to rule except us. Get over it. You know, hey, 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 hey. Yahweh Shem Yahshai set it up this way that, hey, y'all had y'all chance with us. Mm -hmm. And now when he returns to saying Yahweh Shai, all you nations are going to captivity. You know, you're going to drink of the cup. For lo, I begin to bring evil on the city which is called by my name, and and ye shall utterly be pun uh, should ye utterly be unpunished, ye shall not be unpunished, for I will call for a sword upon all the inhabitants of the earth, said Yahweh host. Therefore prophesy thou against them all these words, and say unto them, Yahweh shall roar from a from on high and utter his voice from his holy habitation, and he shall mightily war upon his inhabitation, and he shall give a shout as they that tread the grapes, and shall uh, 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 against all the inhabitants of the earth. 
hey, all of you gonna catch this. You know, you gonna catch this smoke from from <laughs> your house about shooting the shot when it comes. You know. I know. I mean, uh, no, what? Quick precept to go with what, with what the brother just brought out. This is the book of Nahum, chapter one. I'm gonna start at verse three. I'm gonna start at verse two. The Most High Yahweh is jealous, and the Lord Yahovah Shabbat Shai revenges, and the Lord revenges and is furious, and the Lord Yahweh Shabbat Shai will take vengeance on his adversaries. And he reserveth his wrath for his enemies. Who is his enemies? Well, the number one enemy is Esau Edom. Okay, you so-called white people, you're the number one enemy of the Lord. You are described in the scriptures as the wicked. And all you other heathen nations, you are his enemies. As a matter of fact, the Lord is so powerful, he had to create you deep to even have any enemies. Can I, can I? This is who you're messing with. He has all power. And he's coming back to come back to rule and put all of these kingdoms under his feet. And that's what we can't wait for. We can't wait for Yahweh Shai to come back. Because once he cracks them skies, it's over. We know we're getting ready to be set up in the kingdom. And this wicked kingdom we're now living in is going to be history. Never to return again. Right. Can I add to, uh, to what you were just saying? Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, yeah. you said who was his enemies. Well, this is... Um, the enemies of the Heavenly Father are those that are enemies of the nation of Israel. You know? Uh, this is the book of Exodus 23 and 22. I quoted it earlier. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thine enemies and an adversary unto thine, thine adversaries. So who are the enemies and the adversaries of the nation of Israel? You know, and that's all of the nations upon the planet Earth. You know, in the top of those nations is, is who? Amalek. That's the reason why the scriptures say that the Lord have warned that he will have war with Amalek forever from generation to generation. You know, so all of these nations are our enemies. You know, Psalms, the 83rd chapter. And that's the reason why all of these nations are being gathered down into the valley of Yahweh Shepard. And who is drawing them out? Amalek. The least of the flock shall draw them out. You know, so that once they're brought there and they're fighting against each other, Yahweh Shai can come and take all of them down. You know, and in in a, 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 a what what does they say? Thou shalt kill one one bird, uh, two birds with one stone. Well, he's gonna take down all of these nations. The stone is gonna do it. <laughs> the stone that the builders refuse is gonna do it. Yahweh Shai, you know? Add one more and bless you. You got it. Yeah. This is um Book of Nahum chapter one and verse three. The Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushai is slow in anger, slow to anger, and is great in power, and will not at all acquit the wicked. You see, the wicked is Esau Edom, pursuing uh, your uh, judicial system, your court system. Esau always getting off, Jake is always getting it. Well, this time you will not be acquitted, meaning there's nothing in your power to get you off for all the things, all the wicked things that you've done in this world and that you've done to his people. The Lord is not going to acquit you. It says, and the Lord hath his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and in the clouds are the dust of his feet. So when these chariots come back, they're going to destroy it. They're coming back to do two things, to destroy Esau, Edom, and all these other wicked nations. Even you two-thirds, Jakes are going to get it. But mainly Esau, he taking down your, your kingdom because he, you are the one that he was given the fatness of the earth. You are the one ruling. So he's coming back to take you out of power. And he's coming to deliver his elect. The elect, we're hopeful to be the elect because we're going to get beamed up out of here, Lord willing. Beamed up into safety while the Lord is down here taking care of business. Okay? Shooting their concentrated laser beams of fire. And all of these missiles, which they, they are the weapons of the Lord's indignation, his armory. You built those nuclear missiles for the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahushai, and you did a good job. But now it's time for him to use them on all you heathen nations, including the wicked. Okay, yeah, that's I, it. I, I, I got something right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So about how the elder was going to how the, uh, the, the Most High goes out to destroy these nations. 
I'm saying? You know, for the nation of Israel. Uh, this is, I just want to read this right quick. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, this is Second Edges, the first chapter in the uh, 10th verse. Many kings have I destroyed for their sakes. Pharaoh with his servants and all his power have I smitten down. And, you know, it's going into, you know, Pharaoh Egypt. Okay. All right. Pharaoh and his, Pharaoh and his army were taken down and all their power. And what's the new modern day Pharaoh? He's president, man. Okay. What's the new, what's, what's the spiritual Egypt? America. Okay. All right. And America is power is going to be broken and smitten down for who? For the elect of, of, for the elect of the nation of Israel. So it's many kings have I destroyed for their sakes. For whose sakes? For the nation of Israel's sake. Okay? Starting with the elect. Uh, I got one. Uh, Ezekiel uh, 37, and I'm going to start at uh, 26. It says, Moreover, I will make a covenant of peace with them. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them, and I will place them and multiply them and will set my sanctuary in the midst of them forevermore. Uh, 27, my tabernacle also shall be with them. Yeah, I will be their power and they shall be my people. And this is dealing with uh, when we're put back in the Holy Land, uh, you know, given the new bodies and the New Testament by way of Yahweh Shai will no longer be in a state of sin. Therefore, uh, the Heavenly Father's presence will be back with us. Verse 28, it says, And the heathen shall know that uh, I, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, power do sanctify Israel when my sanctuary shall be in the midst of them forevermore. And that's the main point. Verse 28, these heathen are going to know and acknowledge and accept Pizza. the fact that we're set up over them. And there's not anything that anybody can do or say about it. Because uh, I was just thinking, you know, going back to that word, uh, and since, you know, before you come to the realization of this truth, you know, you're just getting shitted on and kicked around by uh, Esau, Edom. You know, your childhood, we getting called in words this, because that. You're like, damn, man, why everybody, you know, why are we at the bottom of the burrow? And you come to find out it's because we're the chosen and we went off. Nevertheless, the Heavenly Father is going to set us back up in our state. And instead of us getting kicked around and shitted on, we're going to be resting in Abraham's bosom. We're going to have all the benefits of the kingdom with none of the downsides of this flesh. All right. I got yeah. a precept. Uh, this is the book of uh, Psalms, the 60th chapter. And I'm going to start at, uh, I should start at, uh, verse 8. So Psalm 60 and 8. All right. Psalm 60 and 8. It says, But thou, O Yahweh, shall laugh at them. Matter of fact, let me start up. Um, it says, uh, Psalms 60 and five, it says, Thou therefore, O Yahweh of hosts, the power of Israel, awake to visit all the heathen. Be not merciful to any wicked transgressors to lie. So that's, isn't that what Yahweh is about to do? All right, he's gathering the nations down to the valley of Yahweh Shaphat. Mm -hmm. And it's there where he's going to judge all of these nations. All at once. One, one, one shot killed. All right, he's going to send for Yahweh Shai to do it, and this, this scripture is going to prove that. It says, They return at evening, they make a noise like a dog, and go round about the city. Behold, they belch out with their mouth, swords are in their lips. For who say they both uh, doth hear? Uh, and it says right here, it says, God's defense of the righteous. I like that. All right, this is verse 8. It says, But thou, O Yahweh, shall laugh at them. Thou shalt have all the heathen in derision. You know, what does it mean to be in derision? You know? Uh, read it on. It says, Because of his strength will I wait upon thee, for Yahweh is my defense. They, call, they, call, they don't call him the Almighty for no reason. Uh, the power of my mercy shall prevent me 
the Most High shall let me see my desire upon my enemies. And what's the desire of the nation of Israel? Upon their enemies. What does the brother say? <laughs> I can't wait. We want to see that day uh, when our enemies get the beat down, when they get judged. Right. Are you proud as crackers, proud as Edomites, you know, and the rest of you other nations because you're prideful too. You know, brothers often speak about the pride of Elam. <laughs> you can't even park, you know, in a, in a certain parking spot, you know, because you come out prideful. They don't show no mercy. All right, you proud Arabs, you know, you, you, you proud, you know, uh, small hats. All of you nations are proud. So our desire, because you, you couldn't wait to see the desire of us. They, the scripture says that you clapped the hand and wagged the head. You know, you rejoice at the downfall of us when we were brought into a lower state. So therefore, our desires are, is, is okay. You were re, you rejoicing to see this happen unto us. We can't wait till the Heavenly Father, Father do it back unto you. That's right. Uh, reading on, it says, Slay them, uh, slay them not, lest my people forget. Scattered, uh, so like it, scattered them, by thy power, and bring them down, O Yahweh, our shield. So like, yeah, uh, I was reading, that, that was good, but so like, yeah, I read the wrong uh, one. So let me just hit this right here. This is, uh, that was Psalms 59, by the way. This is uh, Psalms 60 and 8. It said, Moab is my watch pot over Edom will I cast out my shoe. Philistia, triumph thou because of me. Uh, really knowing it says, who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me into Edom? So who's going to be the one that lead, um, you know, the nation of Israel into, into Edom or to take down Esau Edom? It's going to be Yahweh well, not thou, O the Most High, which has cast us off, and thou, O, o Power, which didst go out with our armies. So the reason that we triumph, you know, back when, you know, King David was on the earth is because the Heavenly Father went out with our armies. All right? But now we don't, we don't have an army. So what are we going to do? All right? We got to wait. On Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is going to be the one that comes to take down Esau Edom. That's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah, we're going to close with a couple of brothers. We're going to bring out their last couple of scriptures. All right. Anybody? Any brother got? Um, I, I got um, Jeremiah um, uh, 23 and 7. Therefore, behold, the days coming, said Yahweh, that they shall no more say, Yahweh liveth, which brought up and uh, uh, brought up the children of Israel out of Egypt, out of the land of Egypt, but Yahweh liveth, which brought up and led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country, from all the countries whither he I have whither I have driven them, and they shall no more dwell in their they shall dwell in their own land. So we waiting for this great day that we finally get placed in that land, a divine intervention, yeah. not no bow for a document. Yeah. You know, saying that, hey, we're great, you know, uh, 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 bullshit, bullshit joyfulness. you know, joyfulness that we mm -hmm. give you this land. No, hey, Yahweh Shimei Al Shai is going to extensively divine, uh, 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 hey, uh, the, um, divine intervention. Divine intervention. Put go. us in that land. Place yeah. us there. This is uh, Baruch 4 and 24. Like as, now the he, the, uh, like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity. So shall they see surely your salvation from our power, which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting. My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from Yahweh, for thy enemy have persecuted thee. But surely thou shalt see his destruction and shalt tread upon his neck. You know, because you started off, your brother was speaking about Jacob and Esau. All right, brothers gave a reference to Genesis, the 25th chapter, how that... Jacob is going to grab the heel of Esau, and um, according to the birth, Esau came out first, but Jacob grabbed the heel of Esau, representing how in the latter days, all right, Israel is going to pull Esau down out of power by way of our Lord Yahweh Shai. 
Now, there's another scripture that you can accompany with that, which is Genesis, the third chapter, verse 15, which speaks about how um, the, that, you know, Israel is going to bruise the head of the, the serpent, you know, and which is Esau, you know, and that Esau you know, was going to bruise the he the, uh, the heel of, e uh, of Israel. All right. The, we've experienced that bruise from them, you know, which is this humiliating, you know, hell that was put upon us and the suffering that happened unto us. But the time is going to come when our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, is going to crush the head, the head of Esau Edom. All right. He's going to take down the chief of the nation of Esau, Edom, Amalek, these rich elite banking families. Right. You know, so our feet are going to be upon their necks. Hey, and that's the point um, about everything that has happened. See, you're born into this world as an Israelite, not even knowing you're an Israelite. Right. But the whole plan all along was that you were in captivity because you broke the law, statutes, and commandments. And then in the end, the Lord would turn back to us and he would wake up his elect, not all of the Israelites, but the elect of Israelites. Right. Okay, the, the, the remnant would wake up to the truth. And so the Lord has done great things for us in terms of waking us up, giving up that breath of life, understanding that we're on the bottom for a specific reason and that Esau, the one that's ruling right now, he was only set up to rule for a moment, not to rule forever. In his kingdom, we're at the end of it. This is the book of Job, chapter 20 and verse 5. Uh, thou, it says, Knowest thou not of this of old, since man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. So this is just a short moment when you think about the grand scheme of things. Because we're about to receive an everlasting kingdom. Esau was only set up to rule for a short period of time. He couldn't continue anyway. Because he's so wicked, he would destroy himself and everything else. It says, Though his excellency mount up to the heavens, and his head reach into the clouds, yet he shall perish forever, like his own dome, like his own crack. He's going to perish. They which have seen him shall say, Where is he? He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found, yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. So Esau, there will be no uh, rising like the phoenix. Once the Lord comes back to destroy you and your wicked kingdom, that's it. You'll never rise again. You'll never be put in power again. The Israelites, his chosen people, of course his chosen people are going to be set up to rule forever. We're his chosen people. You think he would take his chosen people and keep them on the, on the bottom forever? That doesn't even make any sense. See, this is the Lord's movie. And he's coming back to avenge us, set us up in power, and we're going to rule in the kingdom of heaven forever. That's it for me, huh? You got a scripture you want to bring up? Yep, that's about the time. Okay, this is, uh, <clears throat> this is uh, Daniel's uh, 5 and 25. It says, and this is the writing that was written many, many to Kel and Parson. It says, this is the interpretation of a thing. Meaning, the Most High has numbered thy kingdom and finished it. Mm. To Cal, it says, thou art weighed in the balance mm. and art found wanting. All right, it says, hey, and that's the, like the brother brought out earlier that they were that camp is basically lacking. It says, for as it says, the kingdom is divided. You know, but we, we basically talking about we built our side of hand. And then he had to get it interpreted. But still, they found lacking. You know, and this kingdom is going to uh, fall and implode and be a big sand glass parking lot, man. Come because of that, we'd rather say he's going to make this a speedy riddance. All right? So, hey, if we, don't, we don't have to worry about a thing, all right? Just wait for the Heavenly Father because he already promised and said what's going to happen. Just like this was in Babylon, all right? This is we just this is going to happen in this Babylon and this Babylon. He says, as we going we gonna see because what the promises is made and he you're gonna be found wanting it was in the battle so Lord hey it's already it's written that these places have to go and we know so what we're gonna do we're just gonna wait on the Lord and just gonna continue on the mission at hand 
from that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I got something right quick. <laughs> this is uh, this is Second Samuel's the fifth chapter and the um, and the twenty third verse. And when David inquired of Yahweh, the Lord, he said, "Thou shalt not go up, but fetch a compass behind them." And come upon them over against the mulberry trees. And let it be when thou hearest the sound of a going in the tops of the mulberry trees, then, excuse me, mulberry trees, that then thou shalt bestir thyself, for then shall the Lord Yahweh go out before thee. And smite the host of the Philistines. And David did so as the Lord Yahweh had commanded him, and smote the Philistines from Geba until thou come to Gazer or Gazer. All right, now it says, when they hear the sound on the top of the mewberry trees, talking about a chariot, the chariot was hitting the mewberry trees at the top. And then he said, I, Yahweh, will go before. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know? No. You know what I'm saying? You know? Yeah. It says, it says, uh, it says, and let it be when thou hearest the sound of a going in the top of the mulberry trees, that then thou shalt bestir thyself, for then shall Yahweh the Lord go out before thee and smite the host of the Philistines. So this is Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh's gonna send his son Yahweh Shai to go out there and take down the fucking heathens, man. Yeah. To take down Esau, to take down all the heathen nations. It ain't us, man. It ain't about us. Yeah. It's about Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. He's our deliverer. If you got something, bring it out. Yeah, real fast. Isaiah 28 and 21. Yahweh will come, and this is in the NLT. Yahweh will come as he did against the Philistines at Mount Perizim. Because when you read that same account yeah, that yeah. was in Baal, Perizim. Okay. Okay. It says, um, and against the, the Amorites at Gibeon. And when you read in uh, Joshua 10 about the Amorites in the Gibeon, Gib, uh, at Gibeon, the Heavenly Father sent uh, uh, stones out of heaven. You know, to de- to destroy our enemies, and there was more that was destroyed by the stones that were just then just was destroyed by the children of Israel. So those are two accounts when the heavenly Father rose up and fought for the children of Israel. Oh man! But Tom now, yeah, oh, man. But hey, I mean, it, it, it goes to yeah. it, So yeah. this time he's going to do even more stranger acts, and this time than he did back then in those times, because. There was never before seen a gigantic chariot yeah, that's right. on the magnitude of what's getting ready that to come happened. that Yahweh Shah is going to be riding in with other sentinel chariots, you know, yeah. that came and fought for the children of Israel. You know, you had the pillar of fire and the pillar of smoke in uh, Egypt, but nothing alone in magnitude was getting ready to happen. So now I'm going to read that same chapter, but in the KJ, KJV, Isaiah 28 and 21. It says, for Yahweh shall rise up as in Mount Perizim, mm-hmm. he shall be wroth as in the valley of Gibeah, that he may do his work, his strange work, and bring to pass his act, his strange act. Mm. <laughs> no? There you go, shit. <laughs> All right, brother, uh, you, you got something? Said, the strangest on our salvation, man. You know, going to be some weird to people out of some, that they never, the things that they never seen, the chariot come down and or the, or, or, or the chariots defending Israel, and plus, you know, the brothers getting beamed up. Mm-hmm. You yeah, know, yeah, that's going to be strange. Yeah, yeah. Things are going to be weird. There ain't going to be a day like this. That's right. All right? That's right. And never been seen never before. Been seen. That's right. And you're going and you gonna to know that there was a power that was protecting them men. There was a power of Israel that you, you, hey, you read it, but you never understood it. And now you understand, but it's too late. You know, you couldn't change it anyway because the Heavenly Father only came for Israel. And everybody else, all the nations under, going to be just spit. 
So mm-hmm. welcome to spit. <laughs> welcome to the gr- welcome to the ground you're gonna be on. Mm-hmm. All right? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, welcome to the ditch. Ditch. The 50 foot ditch <laughs> that eats so hard to live in. <laughs> welcome, say hi to the worms. Yeah, yeah. All right? Say hi to the grubs. Right. Say hi to Leviathan. You know, because mm-hmm. okay? we're gonna send them out in the, in, in the time to terrorize you. That's like right. you terrorized us. So, man, that's all I really gotta say. But yes, sir. Yeah, and you both got scriptures you want to bring up? Mm. Okay. Hey, so, sure. Oh, yeah, I just want to bring up one more. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. You, you know, brother, you know, it's always one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know? <laughs> oh, my. All right, all right. This is, this, is, this is Malachi, the third chapter, the sixth verse. For I am Yahweh, the Lord. I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Uh, yeah, that's right. So, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai haven't changed on who his chosen people are. That's right. Mm-hmm. They're, they're, still, they're, they're still Jacob. Yeah. Jacob had 12 sons. 12 sons became 12 tribes. Yeah. Nation of Israel. So, close yeah, it out. Right. Yeah. So, you heard the elder. You see, you see that the elder tell you, we, we know that the heavenly father is about to diminish the power of Esau. That's right. And we, uh, we're, we're thankful for uh, what he's about to do for Hey, he, hey, he said for his, hey, not for you, huh? Yeah, his yeah, name, yeah, yeah, his name, his holy name, say his name, say it's for his holy name, say. Hey, it's and not nothing we did exactly. So, hey, the, these heathens, they they counted us off, but the heavenly Father counted us. So really, hey, we got nothing to worry about, brothers. In due time, the heavenly Father is about to mangle these these bastards. Right? Mm-hmm. So. With that, we want to give all praise to you. Yahweh, 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 Yahwe